Bill, wake up. Huh? Wake up. What? We've been fishing all day. We haven't caught one thing. Let's get out of here. Man, yeah, let's do it. Hey, Gil, you know, for yeah. every great song, there's a great hook. Yes, and for every great song, there's a great line. Yes, Gil, and for every great song, there's also a great artist or a great singer. Me, 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 me. No, come on, come on, Gil, come on, Gil. Hey, welcome to the show, Hook, Line, line and, and singers. singers. I'm Dale. And I'm Gail. Together, Together we're the Hammond Brothers. We're going fishing. Yeah, we're going fishing. Everybody wants to fish with Dale and Gail. Get your fishing pole and guitar as well. We'll let you catch your bass for it. Leave it away. We're going fishing. Yeah, we're going fishing. I got one. All right, buddy. We'll bring him in. Bring him in. I'm, bring him I got in. him. I got him. Bring him in. He's not too big, but he's, he's, he's not. He's not bad. I thought he's a. I thought he's a whopper, man. Uh, he's not bad. Not bad. Boy, well, he's pretty good. He's green. He's pretty. Yeah, he is. So bring him in. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, that's at least a little one. Man, it's not. It's not too not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, Gil. You know what, Gil? Uh, what? Our special guest this week on Hook, Line, and Singer is Ronnie McDowell, buddy. He's a very busy man, Gil. We got to get back there. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that goes. We want it. All right, you got him loose. Let him go. Adios, amigos. Give him a kiss. Bye, Gil. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, hey boys. Hey. Hey. It's good to see you, boys. Wow, buddy. good to see you boys man, again. I'm wow. Yeah, good you can Last time I seen you was with my buddy Ray Walker. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we had a ball. Yeah, man, we, we sure did. did. I mean, I'm glad you could make it. I know you're busy. Boy. I'm glad to be here. I even got my shiny shoes on. Well, I sure do, well, man. Bass, I love that. <laughs> he's, got, he's wearing bass lures. <laughs> Patting with the bass lures. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the water went and make, make, maybe get some more fish. That's right. Come on, come on in, Ronnie. Come hey. on up your pole. Come on up. Nice boat. Yeah. Thank you. Hi there. Hey, Captain. Captain Angel. Wow, nice Angie. Nice good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome aboard. Captain Angie, hey, how are you? I'm good, good Angie. Well. Good Angie's a great captain too, and a pretty good kisser. Kisser? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, I was supposed to say that. I just did the Ray Stevens show, yeah. mm -hmm. and just before I walked out, the producer he grabbed my arm. He said, "Ronnie, whatever you do, talk a lot." He said, "Everybody that comes on here, we can't get them to talk." And I said, "Well, I don't have any problem with that." So I go out, and halfway through the interview, Ray was sitting where you are, and he goes, "Uh." He goes, Ronnie, he said, you sure do talk a lot. I said, well, Ray, the producer, told me to talk a lot. And he goes, yeah, but you talk a lot. <laughs> so I tell everybody that. And so, you know, if I talk too much, just shut me up. No, you're fine, Ronnie. Man, just keep keep, keep talking. Yeah, yeah. There's something that you did, Ronnie, I heard the other day. I was listening to it. Unchained Melody. Man, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know you did that to all of so I heard it, it was great. And it was, a, it, and it was a hit video. Number hit one video. It was a number one video. Wow. And uh, I tell you how that happened. Mike Curb called me, and I'm still with Curb since 84. And he called me up and he goes, Ronnie, he said, I'm flying you out to California tonight. And Bill Medley, you know, the bass singer, you never close Oh, yeah, yeah, eyes. yeah. He said, Bill Medley's going to produce you singing Unchained Melody. And I said, Mike, that's not a country song. And he goes, Ronnie, that song is bigger than that. He said, everybody loves that song. Didn't Mike Curb call us? He wanted us one time, didn't he? He wanted us to quit calling him. We, we stop it. I'm trying to build something to cut this. Stop cutting this down. He wants you to what? Quit calling him. Oh, quit calling him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, anyway, we, we, like, we like Mike Curb. He called me back and he goes, uh, Ronnie, uh, some things have happened. You're going to have to record it in Nashville. I said, well, that's fine. Uh, I said, when do you want me to do it? And he said, tonight. And I said, Mike, it's 5 o'clock. He said, uh, can you do it? This is the way Mike Kerb is. He wants it done right then. And I said, well, let me call David Briggs. You know who David Briggs yeah, is? Yeah. Uh, Elvis's piano player. Well, he had just played on a song that I'd just written, a top five record called All Tied Up. Well, I'm all tied up, tied up, baby, tied up. Yeah. So I called David and I said, David, Mike Kerb wants me to record Unchained Melody. And David goes, that's great. He said, 
when does he want you to do it? And I said, uh, tonight. He said, tonight? He said, well, it's 530. He said, well, let me call the A pickers, see if I can get them. He called me back in 30 minutes. He said, you ain't going to believe this, but we'll see you at Master Phonics. I got all the A pickers. So we went in, I called my producer, Buddy Killen, and he came by. I love the whole place. Yeah, Buddy, Buddy was, was, was but, 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 the cream of the crop. Yes, he was. Yes. What a historical figure. And my friend Buddy Killen needs to be in the Country Music Hall of yes, Fame. Yes, he does. You, you're right. I mean, he what does. a pioneer. So anyway, that's how that came about. Here's the cool thing about it. He called uh, Buddy Killer, mm -hmm. Bill Medley. He was in Needles, California, him and Bobby Hatfield. He said, uh, Buddy, he said, uh, uh, me and Bobby were driving through uh, Needles, California, and we heard Unchained Melody, but it sounded too good to be the Righteous Brothers. What a compliment. That's, yeah, really. Yeah. But, you know, me, I'm partial to the Righteous Brothers yeah, version. Yeah, I like them. But I love my version. It's one of my favorite vocals. But in 1964, I'm sitting at home watching Shindig and Hullabaloo. Damn. And the Righteous Brothers were on. And I never dreamed that I would get to know and befriend Bill Medley. Yeah, of course. Yeah, great. Yeah, legend. So You're that's legend. how that came about. Wow. Yeah. How you doing, Dale? Uh, not too much luck, man. Are you bring us some, bring us some bad luck or what? I'm not bringing bad luck. Are you kidding? I'm good luck. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more of Hook, Line, and Singer. You know what I'm thinking about now, guys? I'm what? thinking about the line wet. What do you think? Ronnie, do you like to fish? I've been fishing ever since I was a little boy. Bass fish? Uh, just fishing. Just fishing? You know? Yeah, I... Catfish? Uh, everything. Uh, I started when I was a little kid, and I don't get much time to do that anymore, though, because I'm constantly... Yeah, you're, you're, well, here's, here's, I wish I had here's your chance. Right here. okay, I'm ready. Let's wait a line. What do you, what do you think? It used to, Duck, but you heard Dolly Parton on the radio. You knew it was Dolly. Oh, yeah. George Jones, you knew it was George. Nowadays, when I hear them, they all I don't, sound I don't, a lot alike. I don't, I don't know who they are. It's well, that's, oh, that's the only th problem that I have with it is the same. I, I when I was a kid, when you heard this, I'm walking oh, no, the Ernest, floor Ernest over you. Yeah. You knew who that was. Absolutely, so. yeah. And people, they, they, they came in droves to see When I hear Ronnie McDowell sing, I know beyond any doubt that's Ronnie. Older women. Older oh, women. Oh, yeah, well. Made All beautiful, beautiful love. love. Play it, play it. I said older. Mm -hmm. I think we did that. Older women are beautiful lovers. I said older women, older women, they understand. Yes, they do. I've been around some, and I have discovered that older women know just how to please a man. And older man. men are grateful. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Been a long time since I fished with a bobber or fish, period. That was my favorite way to fish. This got a bobber on it or what? I think it does. It should. I don't see the bobber. It <laughs> means you got a fish. Yeah, you got a fish. <laughs> you really did. You got it, girl. Hold him, girl. Hold him. Come. Hold him. Come, help me, help me. Really? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's a big one. Oh, good. Thank you, Lord. We got one. Yeah, he's a big one. He's a big one. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Look at that, buddy. Hey, hey, Ronnie, look. <laughs> look at that thing, buddy. Bill Dance, eat your heart out. He's <laughs> just laughing. Hook, line, and singers, right? Hook, line, and singers, look. <laughs> I told you he was big. Can you even him to the camera? I did. Get him closer to the camera so it looks bigger. I can't get him any closer. Come on, make it bigger. See how big he is? It's at least four pounds. Man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, if you look, look at it this way, we can have a men or dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ronnie said, men or dinner. <laughs> Ronnie said we're having a men or dinner. <laughs> Woo -wee. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got it all. Oh, watch, watch. You, you all right? <laughs> this is even bigger, Dale. Is it bigger? How big is it? Oh, my gosh. See here, boys. Oh, man. Woo! At least, at least three, at least two inches. Look at that pretty yellow. 
Hey, Ronnie, look at there. Look at there, boy. <laughs> we'll eat tonight. I got one. I got one. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. Let him go. Let him go, Gil. Let him go. He's calling. You got a fish on, boy. Oh, he's, he's, that acts like a big oh, one. Oh, he's got a big one. Man, he's bending his pole up. Man. Hey, that's. <laughs> bend that pole. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God, Gil. Oh, that's hey, at least that's points. pretty good size. Well, that is a pretty good size, Ronnie. That's a nice one. You can, you can probably mount it. <laughs> that's good, Ronnie. Hey, that's, bigger than, that's bigger than what we've had. I believe yeah. I've got the record for you, the day. I believe you do, Ronnie. <laughs> you do. Let's see, my, mine come close. My complete, has ever been, been an inch and a half? I think this one was. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, his, you, oh, oh, man. Ronnie, you have to come right out and do us. I don't want Ronnie got him. And everything. <laughs> hey, that's good, man. That's good fishing, Ronnie. You didn't tell us you was a, you was a pro, Ronnie. Sure, we got a ringer on board. We got a ringer on board with us here. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, old boys don't fish. <laughs> We got, we got the captain taking the fish off the hook, and she's putting the worms on for us. <laughs> this boy here is tart. Captain? <laughs> captain, what do you think? Yes, well, sir, I want to, baby. I'm glad. You're the bass man. Yeah. <laughs> got got back. Back. I was going to think about mountaining, but I don't know. He's a little small. No, Maybe no. next one. Just recently we won a, 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 an award for Vocal Group of the Year, Duet of the Year, Josie Awards. And there's a song we won it with. We just wrote called You Know and I Know. You know I love you. Never gonna place no one. Yeah, there's nothing like family harmony. That's true, Ronnie. You're right about yeah. that. Okay. Nothing in the world. I love the song, too. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. Thanks. Yeah, I, I absolutely love that. We've only got two crickets. Uh, we got that's two right, crickets. boys. I got one. God. It's a nice, this is a nice, nice boat, isn't it? God. Oh, I got another one, boys. <laughs> God help us and save us. God is directly giving us God, the strength that. and the courage we need every each and every day. We'll eat tonight, Amen. boys. <laughs> you got him, though. Yeah, he sure did. Wow. It's, That's good, a, it's a big one, look. 
<laughs> Ronnie? You can't you tell, no, hey, you can't <laughs> tell, no, you can't <laughs> tell <laughs> no whoppers on that one right there. <laughs> no, you sure ain't. <laughs> Real close. Dances. Oh, look, look close to the camera. Look, look. Isn't this a big one? It's eight pounds. <laughs> Ronnie caught this. <laughs> I'm just glad I don't lie on Ronnie. Close stop that, Gail. My God, I'm going to put it back in. Dude. <laughs> I'm not touching him. Real dance does it. Hey, can you get this out? Cricket. I mean, crickets are the best bait in the world for bluegill, bass, anything. Especially bluegill. Uh, yeah. I don't believe these uh -huh. fish are going to bite, boys. I, I, I well, don't think they sure ain't biting, are they? We're trying to get, make them bite, boys. If, See, if, a there. If, a, if a if a if a I want to ask you too, Ronnie. Yeah. What was your what was your job in Vietnam? I, I had no idea you went to Vietnam. Oh yeah, I I had lots of jobs in Vietnam. I'm going to tell you a story that will blow your mind, and it's about Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how my life has just evolved and still revolves around That's Elvis. Parallel. Yeah. That's, I know it's crazy. Yeah. Parallels what it's been. Yes, yeah, and so when I was in Vietnam. I found out the easiest job was being a barber. Greatest guy, real gentle person. He said, Ronnie, it ain't no big deal. Everybody over here gets a buzz cut. He said, but I'll teach you to cut hair. He said, in two weeks, there's an opening in the officer's barbershop. Two weeks later, I was yeah. there. Well, a few weeks went by. Guess who came in? The Admiral, Admiral oh. Morrison. And I got to know him and months went by and one day he come in and said, well, I got to go get my son out of jail, Ronnie. I said, really? I said, what did he do? He said, well, he did something on stage he shouldn't have done. He said, you really don't know who I am, do you? I said, yes, sir. You're Admiral Morrison. He said, Ronnie, put two and two together. I'm getting my son out of jail. He was on stage doing it. I said, you surely are not. He said, yep, Jim Morrison's my son. No kidding. Good Lord, you're kidding me. Admiral Morrison. Oh, well, now here's where I come into that picture. Mm. When Elvis and Colonel Tom Parker drove to California in a pink Cadillac to do Loving You, they, Elvis wanted to visit a ghost town. Mm -hmm. So they stopped at one and Colonel said, you go look around, son, I'm going in the saloon here. It was still active. Elvis walked into this church. There's a 14 year old boy in there. The 14-year-old boy freaked out. My God, it's Elvis Presley. I got all your son stuff. You're the king. Well, lo and behold, I want you to know. He said, would you meet my parents? Yeah, I'll meet them. They go out in the street, and here comes this man and woman. Of course, they knew who Elvis was. It's 1957. Everybody knew who he was. Right. And here comes the colonel. Come on, Elvis. We got to get do this movie. They jumped in the car and take off, took off. That was Jim Morrison. Man, what's weird, ain't it? Isn't that oh, weird? Wow. Oh, that's strange, isn't it? How, you've been connected to Elvis Presley your whole life. There was a man who gave the world his song And the world stood still to hear him sing The first time I ever, the first time I ever sang in my life was in Vietnam. The first song I ever sang, just before I walked up on stage, this old man grabbed my arm and said, son, where you're going to stand right there, Elvis Presley stood right there in 1956. And I said, yeah, right. He goes, no, this ship was on uh, San Diego, and he was on the Milton Burrow show. And I was there watching him. And right where you're standing is where he stood. And I sang this. Blue moon turns to gold again. When the rain the bowl turns the clouds away. Well, you know, someday we're going to live again, sweetheart. And my blue moon again's are going to turn to gold. Well, the wind of my blue do moon, do moon, moon turns do to gold do again. Do do when do the rain in the bowl turns the clouds away. Well, you know, someday we're going to live again, sweetheart. And my blue moon again gonna turn to gold. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So, so isn't that weird? That's the first time I ever sang in my life, and Elvis stood in the same Man, spot. No See, kidding. Is that not weird? What a, what, that, that's, that's no coincidence. It's just yeah, that's crazy. There are that's no crazy coincidences. Stuff. No, uh, that's, that's right. right. There are none. Everything happens not. for a reason. Yes, for a purpose. And then I became Elvis Presley's voice in movies.
That was, that, uh, now that's pretty cool. You see, there's a, there's a, there's not, that's not a coincidence. That's not. No. I was no. Elvis's voice with Kurt Russell right. in the uh, movie of the year, 1978. And Kurt Russell did a great job. Yeah, he, did. he was the best. Yeah, he, he was. He was. Well, he and was then great. Priscilla Presley called me and said, Ronnie, I'm doing a new movie. I got a number one book called Elvis and Me, and I want you to be Elvis Presley's voice. I did 37 songs in that movie. Wow, I did man. 38 in the Kurt Russell movie. And then, of course, I did Elvis and the Meets Nixon, Elvis and the Beauty Queen, uh, Breathless with Richard Gere. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I never will forget, I took my 84-year-old Lane Ehrman to see Breathless with Richard Gere, and I would sang Suspicious Minds, but I didn't know where they were going to put it in the movie. My Ain Irma sitting right here. Richard Gere stripped off butt naked, <laughs> got in the shower, and started singing Suspicious Minds, but it was me. And I said, ain't Irma, we don't have to stay here. And she goes, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Like, like <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. So, yeah. you know. Is that crazy? That's crazy. Though, it right? is crazy, isn't it? Yes, it's crazy. I've, I've been uh, just uh, in a whirlwind being around Elvis. Goodbye, Elvis. We'll miss you. This song right here is a song that I wrote with my friend Stephen Hill, who was a member of the Gaithers. Oh, yeah. And he was on all the Gaither shows. And, and I was sitting out underneath my big old oak tree that was, and it is so huge, the state came out and said it was there during Christopher Columbus days. Oh, my goodness. And it's still there. It's one of the largest trees in the state. And I went out there one day and I went, I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you, Lord. Happy with you, Lord. Hope you're happy with me. I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you, Lord. Happy with you, Lord. Hope you're happy with me. And Stephen Hill and I wrote that and gave it to the uh, Tally Trio, and they've had a number one record wow. with it. Man, what a great! So, am I blessed or what? Yeah, Thank yeah, you, are. Jesus. Amen. We bought us home. Happy with you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, we are, are we? Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, and uh, you know, the verse goes, "Well, you know that I'm just an ordinary man, and I can't believe my love that you cared enough to shine down on me." And your mercy lifted me up. I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you, Lord. That's good. I'm happy with you, Lord. I hope you're happy with me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Give me five, boys. That was good. That's, 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 that's a great song. We never, we never practiced it. Oh, I never tried, but it's a great No, that's the first time y'all did that. That's amazing. Uh, These boys are talented. I'm we, telling we, you. We try it. We try it. One more time. Well, I'm happy with you. Hey, we hope you guys enjoyed the show. We had a great time. We are happy with the Lord. We're happy with you guys. We'll see you next week, right, Gail? Thanks, Ronnie McDowell. And just thank Ronnie McDowell for being here today. We, we love you, Ronnie. Thank you for doing it. Hey, thank you. And to Thanks, all of you out there, I'm Dale. And I'm Gail. Together, Together we're the Hammond Brothers. Brothers. We love Ronnie McDowell. We've had a great time here today. And I Dale. love you both. Oh, thanks, man. We Seriously, you. I did. <laughs> thank we you, love you too, love I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you. I'm happy with you, Lord. I'm happy with you.